Aloha everybody, Dr. Summer Nicole from Yoga Doctors TV. I just wanted to jump on because I was just having a really good conversation with a good friend of mine about isolating um, and like sort of retreating whenever uh, actually what we really want and need is deep connection. And this is really easy for me on the island of Kauai. I could just go play in nature for weeks at a time and be perfectly happy. Um, but just realizing after talking to a lot of people too that it's so easy to do in um, even a city or a small town where you are. It's so easy, like our lives are just set up to just isolate. And what I've been recognizing in myself and, and just talking to some other people about it, um, after I'm integrating from some, some trauma release work that I've done recently, is that it's really, um, and I'm not saying it's true for everybody, but it's true for me, is really a trauma response. And it's like a freeze response. So we have fight, flight, and freeze. Um, fight, and, fight or flight is dominated by the sympathetic nervous system, but the freeze response is dominated by the parasympathetic nervous system. So um, that's where we actually just don't expend as much energy at all, and we literally just like freeze. We feel like we can't move. Um, I've literally felt that before when I've been in those triggered states where I literally feel like I can't move my body. Um, and, and just really isolating and not wanting, to, thinking I'll just be horrible company to anybody um, when I'm in that state and thinking that I, I don't want to bring them down with my negativity and, and all of these things and just staying home instead of actually like going out and connecting. And for me, like connecting the dots of, of my childhood and my past, I really um, started to recognize that like I had this sort of belief as a child that my caretakers um, were annoyed with taking care of me. And it's so interesting now how I'm seeing like how the external mirrors the internal because what's very apparent for me now after doing this work is that that not, wasn't necessarily the case. Um, maybe it was sometimes, but most of the time um, I actually was just annoyed with myself. Um, and that's what I notice now if, if my little girl is triggered, I notice that I actually just get annoyed with myself and frustrated with myself um, for how much I feel uh, because I feel so deeply and so intensely. Um, Another one, uh, let's see, another belief really, I guess, was that, oh, no one, no one wants to hear my opinion, you know, no one values what I say or, or asks for my opinion anyway, so I'll just go in my room. And that's kind of how I felt like as a kid sometimes. And really, like, as I'm seeing this bigger picture, it's like, I didn't learn, I didn't grow up learning to value my own opinion or what I had to say. And so a big part of my healing journey actually has been to let myself be seen to let myself be heard, um, and actually to be acknowledged um, for what I, I feel. And um, I never really put those dots together, the how, how much medicine that is for me and for I know so many people out there and how much the, whatever you're feeling on the inside is, is just reflecting to you back. It's so potent if you really start to pay attention. And I just really wanted to share this because I just feel like the more and more people I talk to a lot, not everybody, some people have the opposite of response of to go be around a lot of people, but for so many people um, that there's that, re that response to just retreat and isolate yourself and um, really like what the, the little girl, the little boy inside is wanting is connection um, and to be seen and to be heard and acknowledged for what they're feeling. And so reaching out to a friend um, can be so huge and actually get you to change your state. And I know it's the very, very hardest thing to do whenever you're in that triggered state and you're feeling, I'll speak for myself, when I get in that state, I'm frustrated, I'm annoyed, and I'm like irritated with myself for feeling the way I feel. So it's almost like I throw, uh, my husband calls it throwing the second dart. So I feel certain, I feel bad, but then I throw the second dart at myself and I make myself wrong for, for feeling bad. So what I've been learning is actually the first thing to do whenever I come into that, when I realize I'm in that state, is actually whatever way I can, making it okay that I feel that way. And, and having, um, finding compassion uh, for my little girl and, and what she's gone through and how much healing she's done and is still doing and making it okay that I feel that way. So, yeah, that's about what I wanted to share. I'm really hoping, you know, this is really just like being kind of reaching out for um, just sharing more of myself and, and reaching out um, to connect. And um, I'm hoping that this lands and, and potentially supports anyone that needs to hear it. So, aloha.